All right, hey guys, what's up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another episode of Black Ops 3. Today's probably going to be one of the coolest videos I ever put out for this game, as me and my good buddy Steven, X Console is his gamer tag, we actually both got a nuclear in this gameplay at the same game. So uh, honestly, that's really hard to do. It's hard enough to get a nuclear in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 by yourself, but to have you and your friend get a nuclear in the same game almost actually actually at the exact same time as well you'll see that later on it was honestly amazing uh had to upload this gameplay this is probably the best game we've had uh, on black ops so far it was just it was just a really fun time so um steven actually goes flawless this game i die a couple of times i actually start off the game 0 and one and um i die i think once more before i start my nuclear streak so um, again, as you'll see later on in the game, we could literally get our nuclears like within seconds of each other. So it's pretty cool. Um, in this game, I'm using the 205, uh, Brecci. It is a shotgun. It is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite guns in the game. Uh, I've been trying to grind out the challenges for all the weapons. So I've been pretty much using everything. And throughout all my experience playing this game, and I have a lot since I just recently hit Prestige Master. I'll talk about that in a little bit. The 205 Brecci or Breachy or however you pronounce this gun. I've heard people pronounce it um, Breachy. I've heard people call it Brecky. So I pretty much just took those two and combined them into my pronunciation for it, which is Brecci. Who knows how you actually pronounce it, but I'm just going to call it the Brecci. It's probably one of my favorite guns in the game, probably top five. Uh, I do really well with this gun. I have a really high uh, kill death ratio with it. And it's honestly just a really fun shotgun to use. It's easy. Uh, you just kind of shoot it straight. doesn't take a whole lot of skill to use, and it's just really fun. So uh, that's what I was using to get this nuclear. So a nuclear with a shotgun, pretty cool. And um, anyway, talking about what I was saying, Prestige Master just recently hit it on Black Ops 3. This is, like, by far the fastest I've ever hit Prestige Master in a game. Like, I, it's crazy how fast I hit it. Um, <laughs> I literally did it in, I would say, about two months since the game came out. And that is, like, by far the fastest. I hit Prestige Master in Black Ops 2. I think I hit it in, like, four or five months, though. Like, it was, like, April or March when I finally got to it. So, uh, the fact that I've already hit Prestige Master in this game is just pretty crazy to me. Uh, I really enjoy this game because I've been playing it a lot with my friends. And I think in a second here, I die right before my nuclear streak starts. Don't make a play like this. I ran out in the middle of the map uh, right over B to chase a guy. That was not smart because the camper in the window shot me. Don't do that. That's not a smart play unless you're trying to cap the flag. Um, and now my nuclear streak starts. So I start off the game 9-2. and two. I think Steven's already like 12-0 and 0 or something like that. So he's already going off. He's got his wraps in the air and everything. Uh, I had some unlucky breaks at the beginning of this match. But it starts to turn my way now as I get a pretty nice little streak here. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Anyway, some other things I wanted to talk about is Dark Matter. So there's a secret camo in this game. I'm sure if you guys play this game, you've heard of it. It's called Dark Matter, and it, the way you get it, you have to get diamond camo on every gun in the game. And I am actually working towards that challenge. I'm getting pretty close. Uh, the gun I'm using this game, the Brecci, was the last shotgun I needed to get diamond shotguns. And I'm also working towards, uh, what is it called, um, the diamond snipers right now. So uh, just going to try to get that done as soon as I can. And I'll probably make a reaction video, like a live reaction, uh, when I actually do, in fact, unlock Dark Matter. Um, so you guys can kind of see how I react to, you know, that huge grind. And check out this scythe uh, right here. I've got a nice little quad spray with the scythe. Uh, the scythe is still really good. They've nerfed it a couple of times, but I still really like it. I like using the uh, robot guy. He's fun to uh, walk around with. And, um, yeah, we're almost to the end of the first round here. I think I finished the first round on about a 15 kill streak, So it went pretty fast in the first round. And then the second round, I kind of slowed things down a little bit. It was pretty funny because when we were playing the game, we were both on pretty long streaks at the end of the first round. And I would literally said in the lobby, hey, let's try to like both get nuclears this game. That'd be really cool. And we both clutched up. So honestly, it was a really cool experience after we both got the nuclear. We were really pumped about it. And this was, again, like I said, one of the most fun games I played on Black Ops 3 like to date. So that's the end of the first round. And we're coming back here for the second round. As far as my streaks this game, I'm using the hater, the wraps, and the power core trying to grind out challenges for the power core uh it's kind of like the emp in this game that's been you know they had the emp in modern warfare 2 and other games it's uh it's not very good because you have to place it on the ground and the enemy team can easily break it so that's why i'm running all the way to the back of the map to place it right there uh, i wouldn't recommend using it in any way i was just trying to do challenges for it and who knows maybe it would have helped me this game because the enemy team really didn't have a radar for most of the time but um, I know it probably helped my teammates a little bit, and I can't uh, exclude Paul from this. I was also playing with um, our friend Paul, 
Uh, he was also in this game, so it wasn't just me and Steven. Paul was here as well. Unfortunately, Paul could not get a nuclear, but, you know, you can't have everybody uh, getting a nuclear in one game. That would just be too crazy. But um, just some tips on how to get nuclear, some basic stuff. Uh, there's kind of like two hurdles you need to uh, overcome if you're like a really good quality player. There's two things you kind of have to overcome when going for a 30 gun streak. One, you have to be able to use the hater and you have to be able to get kills without the hater up. As you can see right here, literally their entire team spawned right behind me. If it wasn't for the hater, I wouldn't have known. I would have gotten shot in the back and my streak would have been over. Luckily, I was able to just kind of spray most of them down. I got a couple of assists, but I was able to survive and... Um, it got real hectic right here as you can see I'm just kind of you know scrambling right now trying to stay alive and I think I just hit my 20 gun streak so I'm, I'm working my way up towards the nuclear but you have to be able to run hater that's like one of the keys to getting a nuclear and also you have to be able to pick up a weapon off the ground and get kills with it I don't think I had that issue this game because I did spread my kills pretty evenly from round to round so and the brecci does have quite a bit of ammo in it so I didn't really have that problem but Depending on what other gun you're using, if you're using like a regular weapon, like an assault rifle or an SMG, there's a good chance you're going to run out of ammo when you're going for a 30 gun streak. So um, you always have to be able to pick up a gun off the ground. That's one of the biggest keys. And I would just say play, play slowly. Try not to get nervous. Sometimes I get a little bit nervous when I'm getting towards a high streak. My, my heart starts to pound a little bit. And uh, right here, I know I'm getting close and I pull out the scythe behind their spawn and I get a nice little triple kill right there. I think that puts me just two kills away from my nuclear. So I'm getting real close here. And uh, Steven is also getting really close as well. So um, this 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 was the part of the game where we were really focusing up trying to get this thing done. But um, that, those would be just my basic tips on how to get a nuclear. Again, there's really no tips for it. You just kind of have to play against noobs. That's pretty much like the number one thing. Like the guys we're playing against right now, I'm pretty sure they didn't have thumbs. And right there, Steven gets a quad C4. And that actually got him his nuclear. So I'll show you guys how this happened. We're watching from Steven's perspective. He places the C4 down on C. And they all spawn there. And then he gets a quad C4. So... Four kills with one C4 to get the nuclear medal. That was honestly super badass. Shout out to Steven. He's using like this C4 strategy where he places the C4s on the flags. And since the spawns flip so much on this map, he gets a lot of kills with them. And then right here, I get my nuclear the second after he gets that. So we are kind of back on my perspective now. So I would say literally within two or three seconds of each other, we got our nuclears. And it was a really awesome feeling in the lobby. We were both really excited about it. So... Um, we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. I'm still in their spawn a little bit. I actually finally run into ammo with the Brecci, and I'm just sitting here with my fists. I'm pretty sure this guy knows I'm here, or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. I'm trying to pick up his gun. I'm just, I'm just frantically playing. I don't really care at this point, because I already got the nuclear. And then right there, I finally die. So, Steven ends up, uh, clutching the Flawless. I do not. But we actually both got a 35 gun streak, which was pretty cool, so. Um, it was an amazing game. This was probably the best Black Ops game I've had with my friends so far. Like, I've had games where I've gotten a nuclear, but my friends haven't done too well. But the fact that we both got nuclears in the same game is just, like, one of the coolest things ever. So, I'm running all the way to the back of the map here to kill this guy prone. I guess this guy kind of just gave up because he was getting, you know, beasted so hard. So, he just sat in the back of the map. I honestly don't really blame him too much, but uh, it was a really, really fun game. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. It's been Dan Lags. I'll probably post another nuclear. I actually got another nuclear with a shotgun, the same one. I'll probably post that too, because I like posting nuclears. I went 15-3. Stephen went 44-0. Thanks for watching, everybody, and peace out.